Thank you so much for tuning in to American Medicine Today. It is a small, intimate gathering of both Ethan Euchre and myself. Indeed, just the two of us. It is. There are over a million Americans living with HIV and treatment options are still limited. But a publicly traded biotech firm plans on changing that. Joining us right now is Nader Porhausen, president and CEO of Cytodyne, the company behind this revolutionary breakthrough. Thank you for being with us, Nader. Thanks for having me. Now, yes. Cytodyne is uh, focused primarily on a drug, and I'm probably going to massacre the pronunciation of this. <laughs> Laurent Lamob? Is that right? You said it right. Look yeah, at that. Right. I get go. a gold Perfect. star today. Well, tell us, tell us about what that drug is and how it works. Uh, so it's a drug that was uh, invented by the person who discovered how the HIV interacts with the T cell. And the, the way we, this product works, the antibody, which is a humanized monoclonal antibody, and it's an injectable product, sub-Q, that means underneath the skin, once a week. This product binds to the receptor, just think of it as an antenna, on a T cell. T cell being the cell that try to uh, heal the body from any infection. Mm-hmm. Now, if HIV doesn't go into the T-cell, nobody going to get hurt with HIV. But because it goes in a T-cell, it multiplies by like a billion copies in 24 hours. Hmm. This product binds to the receptor on that cell so the HIV can't get into the cell. It will be the first subcutaneous injectable, just like the diabetes have insulin shots many times in a day. This would be once a week only. Someone with HIV, just like you equated it with diabetes, someone with HIV would have this drug, they would inject themselves once a week, and it would essentially keep them from getting sick, it turning into AIDS, and, and dying. It'll keep it at bay. Is that what you're saying? That's correct. If they use it in a monotherapy setting, and now I have to say that not all the HIV patients are R5 strain of HIV, 70% are in average, and if they are with R5 strain, then if this product works for them, so that population, 70% of HIV population, a subpopulation of that reacts positive. We have patients have gone five years with no pills. Hmm. We have some patients that have gone almost three years and we have over a hundred patients have gone almost one year without any pills. So it works for certain people, but we can figure that out when we screen the patients. Hmm. Patients who become HIV, 99% are R5. So it's a very important product to be able to hopefully get approval. But the other one, the monotherapy, the one that patients just put away their pills and enjoy just once a week injection, there will be probably a lot of patients who want to try this so they won't be stuck with side effects and toxicity of most of the chemical drugs out there. Okay, so just to recap, this is something to keep the HIV under control, but it doesn't eradicate it. It is not a cure. That's a very good question. Uh, it doesn't eradicate it, but there are right now, we brought in Dr. Jonas Sasha, who got hold of us, and he believes there is a lot of things to talk about in cure. And in that setting, he has some data that he will be sharing with everybody in the end of this year. Uh, the cure, it goes through CCR5 receptor. That's mm-hmm. what our product does, binds to CCR5. We are the only humanized monoclonal antibody that binds to CCR5. So Dr. Jonas Sasha's preclinical studies are showing that we could have impact on cure potential and also PrEP. So patients, individuals who are at high risk of HIV could take this also. But eradicating it with a cure, with a bone marrow transplant, that's mm-hmm. something we are going to talk about at the end of the year. Those that you're trying to differentiate, um, I don't, does it have to do, and, and forgive me, I'm not knowledgeable in it, so does it have to do with um, maybe newer cases of HIV respond better than somebody that has had the virus for quite some time? You're talking about the cure? Well, not cure, but this drug. You said it will work in some but not others. So does it work in newer cases versus those that have suffered for a while? Well, and HIV progresses, too. It starts out small, and then that's why it starts out known as HIV. Then if it gets really bad, it becomes full-blown AIDS. Right, but still in the HIV realm. It's the cause. Is it easier? No, the for it to work? That's a great question. The individual who become HIV, they're 99% R5, the strain of HIV called R5. That means Mm -hmm. they use that antenna CCR5 and the T cell. Those patients can use our product, but because we're not going for first line therapy, when it's approved, it's for combination therapy. Patients who are in very bad shape, they already got resistance. There's only four classes of drugs, that main classes of drugs that patients Mm -hmm. have to use to make a regimen, and you have to use 
use two of the classes and pick drugs from those two classes. Mm -hmm. If a patient is resistant to three classes, they don't have two classes left. They only have one class left. That means they're in trouble. And our product is from a different class than those four classes. So when we add this product to the patients who are in trouble, then that would give them suppressed viral load. And also this drug has um, had some great results on cancer, on various forms of cancer. That's exactly true. And Mm -hmm. we uh, eliminated the metastasis of cancer in the mice model. Mm -hmm. The mechanism of metastasis is through the cancer cells that have this same receptor that I just talked about, CCR5. Mm -hmm. That receptor on the T cell is for HIV. But when it's on the tumor cells of cancer, those are the only cells that travel to other part of the body and metastasize and kill the patients. We are very excited to see if we can prolong the survival rate of what it is right now, about eight or nine months to perhaps many years. It's a very, very exciting situation, but again, we don't have human data. We yeah. have animal data, okay. and we, we need to be, you know, just wait to get the data. We'll have to follow up with you yes. uh, down the road and talk about that, specifically about that next time. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you so much, Nader Porhausen, President and CEO of Cytodyne, the company behind the revolutionary breakthrough to help HIV patients. Thanks, Nader. Thank you for having me. I Thank appreciate you. it. That's big news if it's, if it's that effective. It certainly so, is. Yeah.